Welcome back to our next playthrough of Rimworld. I still haven't really played with ideology, but I figured why not learn the new things along the playthrough itself. In case you wanna skip the intro and the ideology setup, I'll leave a timestamp below so you can skip straight to the summary and start of the playthrough. However, I did a little bit of research, so they changed a lot around the animals and animal handling. They have thrown in this new kind of trees and dryads, which I think I will not care too much. And also with the ideology memes, I won't go too crazy. However, I found a few specialists, which I think I would like. And let's go this time with Freshlander scenario. We haven't had that one yet. New arrivals, start with three people, choose from eight. And yeah, classical. Let's go with Randy as always. Choosing his fan preset. 500. I think 50% coverage should be enough and we go with the seed snipers because the last raid of our solo versus wealth independent playthrough kind of inspired me with 59 what do you mean one sniper oh <laughs> oh they are all snipers not one sniper they are all snipers you can't even get in range, you're instantly done if 59 snipers lock on to you. I was like thinking, wow, what if that would be us? If we have like 59 snipers and we go raid some other factions? I really have never used the sniper rifles for anything else than hunting and leveling shooting skills. But thinking to have 59 snipers or more and go raid some other factions? That sounds like fun to me. Okay. Yep. No. Tell me that's not a perfect start. We have here plenty of factions around, including Empire. Yeah, um, I won't even be looking much more. I think I found us a nice spot right here. Marble and limestone. If you check. We can reach here quite a lot of trading partners within one and a half days. These guys, two and a half days, that's still okay. Here we have an empire post, two and a half days, and even here, three days. Yeah, I'll take it. We get a few camps around, which we could go raid at some point. Pirates are... Oh, pirates are also... Yeah, I like that place. Let's go advance. This time I'm choosing the large map size. I don't think I've ever used the large ones, but I think for a sniper colony of 59 we need a little bit of space around the map. And we start in spring. Yeah. Choose your ideology on. I will not go with a fluid one, I will go with a classic one, but nothing too crazy. However, I have prepared already. So we are the cooks. An ideological structure with rustic culture and style. I choose two rather easy memes. I explain below why. Our narrative. This world belongs to the strong, my friend. The ritual of our existence is based on the strong getting stronger by devouring the weak. We must face up to this. No more than right that it should be this way. We must learn to accept it as a law of the natural rim world. And Casey won't flew over the cuckoo's nest. Precepts, I kept it quite easy or like we don't care about most things except for diversity of thought. We choose intense bigotry because either you are a cook or you are not a cook. Other beliefs are evil deceptions ruining the world. It's totally unacceptable to let them exist in the community. You have to be one of us to join us. And the roles actually, this is what interested me most about ideology DLC and to be honest the specialists actually made me choose the memes because looking at the specialists you can have only two and then there is this one totally freaking overpowered specialist the production specialist the production specialist gives you a plus one quality to crafting or construction it is insane 
Till now in RimWorld you could not craft or construct any legendary item without having the inspired creativity. But now with production specialist you can do. Actually if you have a really good crafter or constructor you are going to rank out masterwork items quite regularly and I think up to 10% you can produce legendary items. And if you then have let's say a few casters with word of what is it word of inspiration to throw on them so they have an inspired creativity it's like almost a given that you can craft a legendary item that is freaking insane especially after the last playthrough the solo versus wells independence playthrough we did i have realized how important or what a huge impact legendary armor has to be honest, till now, when I had inspired creativity, I threw it only on weapons. But no, legendary armor is the way to go. So, imagine we have 59 snipers and they are all coming on legendary armor. They are freaking unstoppable. <laughs> uh, and then, is another role. They didn't interest me too much, I don't know, like the medical specialist uh, gets incapable of violent. Like, really? You, you lose a fighter for a little bit more end quality, which, except for early game, doesn't really matter in this game. So the plant specialist kind of would be interesting, but then actually I want to try out the shooting specialist. Because we are going for the sniper playthrough, and yeah, it, it kind of feels like you have to have shooting specialists if you are running snipers only. Then rituals here, we have some... Why does it... Really? Did it change all the names again because I saved before? It looks like... <laughs> let, let me actually just... Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I, I think with... Saving again or overwriting, it changed the names. So, our leaders are Shrink, Moral Guides are Quarks. Production Specialist Banglas and Shooting Specialist Boots Us. Our Ritas are Funerals, Rest in Peace, Symbol Burning, the Cook Dance. This ritual we can do anytime and will give us a 50% chance of a random recruit join our colony. And I think we will need this a lot because if you wield mainly sniper rifles, well, the spawns you take down will most likely be missing limbs or having other very bad injuries. So I think we will need this a lot so we can grow our colony. And we have the dance party, we call it parade. This one, of course, if working out, can give us a nice mood, but mainly we aim here for goodwill with uh, our affections because we are running the Supreme Assist meme that will give us quite some bad goodwill with our affections, I think. Ah, and yeah, by the way, completely forgot. So. I choose the Supreme Assist and the Human Primacy so we can actually get the Production Specialist and the Shooting Specialist. There would be also Raiders possible, but I choose the Supreme Assist, it has less impact. I said, I didn't want to change too much compared to the base game. Except for having the nice specialists, of course. Buildings, anyway, yeah, Rituals seat, a scare cook for burning Rituals and some catch the mediogram for the floors. With relics we go with cubes and of course the sniper rifle. And as we wanna do the sniper run, of course it's noble to wield a ranged weapon and we despise any melee. And when I read the animals, what else is there to choose than a cat? <laughs> Before half of you freak out, you cannot select dogs. They have huskies and laboratory retrievers, but no dogs, so we go for the cat. And I think we all know it's the cat anyway, isn't it? <laughs> and we'll be using a few selected air and the tooth. Okay, let me select now three of this group. I hope we'll find someone. Yeah, we definitely need... Oh. Okay, that's not... What? Okay, that's not going to be easy. Uh, what is what is this selection of pawns? 
Uh, okay, let, let me see if I can find something here and I'll be right back. So, I haven't done any randomization. You have seen the starting points we had and we're selecting three from what we have received to start with. Let's start from the bottom. So this guy incapable of like almost everything, especially violent, no thank you. Incapable of violent, no thank you. Incapable of a lot of things, no thank you. That one would be incapable of only dumb labor, but the brawler doesn't work well with sniper rifles, does it? So no thank you. These two here were a little bit trickier. However, that pawn is freaking awesome. Great memory, intellectual 10 and medical. And intellectual actually was the most critical skill to find a good pawn here with a good number. Because we will have to immediately start research towards, what is it, precision rifling? So we can start crafting sniper rifles for everyone. Because at the start, we get only those three starting weapons, which we will be allowed to use, but only the starting weapons, and after that only sniper rifles. So we have to get the research done immediately. So that has actually highest priority, research and fabricate sniper rifles. Plus has medical, top medical, passion in shooting, no health conditions, super pawn. Who else we have? We have here the psychically sensitive aesthetic with cooking plants animal. Just a few scratches and incapable of social. Let's we can live with that. Nice pawn. And between these two, they both have chemical interest. But that one on top of it has bloodlust. And is an awesome miner and good in social. She would be good in shooting, mining, animals and artistic. Which is a wooden food. Jonah has no health conditions, he is incapable of firefighting, but we can live with that. So, yeah, these are our starting points. Let's go ahead, shall we? The three of you awake in your crypto sleep, sacrophagi, to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. Briefly summarized again, we choose three random pounds, which we could select from eight, the new arrival scenario. We are the cooks, short from Kukos. We went quite easy on the memes and its impact, but we want to abuse the production specialist. And we are going with sniper rifles only. Well, sniper rifles only, except for the starting weapons, because we have to be able to defend ourselves a little bit. And except for grenades and launchers. Or actually, let me know what you think. If it's okay to use grenade and launchers on a sniper rifle run. However, this playthrough we will not be using the overpowered simple sidearms mod. So for the snipers run, we will not, if the enemy makes it up close to us, pull out the fuse hammers and mono swords and just mow them down. No, no, no. We have to really try to, to learn to play the sniper rifles in a way so we can make it. It will not be easy. Okay, then. Oh. We even spawned with a cat as pet. Any. That's nice. So let's now actually allow everything and assign the weapons to shooting one, shooting two, shooting four. Wow. Okay. I guess Dog is going to equip the old action and Jonah with shooting two takes the revolver. And Frankie, if the time comes, will grab the plastil knife. Not now, because that will give him a multi buff because of our ideology. But when the time comes, Frankie will have to equip, and therefore Frankie is getting to wear the Plastil Flak helmet. And he will also get the Flak vest once he has to get up close to the enemies, but not for now, because that will just slow him down. Okay. 
And yeah, then we'll grab the stuff. And for those who know my playstyle, they would know. I usually would go here, set up some traps and break open the ancient danger and move in there. But they are too close to the border. And I'd like to stay a bit more central. So we have time to react if threat appears on the map. So instead, we'll turn this into a temporary home here. That means we are going to... Actually, frame this here. And we are going to deconstruct everything here we don't need, but which gives us materials so we can build walls. We even deconstruct the granite doors, replace them with steel, because they give us nice material for building other walls again, of course. We may even invest one of the granite tables. One is enough. That should actually give us enough materials, I think. We can close this place here. And then we'll build steel doors. Here, here and here. Yeah, I think it sounds like a good plan. And then we'll put down a stock. But can we actually sleep in those beds? I don't even know, to be honest. Let's cancel. We'll see if someone <laughs> will end up sleeping in those. So, well, then, let's get going, shall we? Good job, boys. And we'll place down a stockpile zone already. Putting all our stuff inside for now. We'll need a wall here as well. Really? Prepare, maybe. Like this, yeah. I'm a bit rusty, I think. But let's see if we can get this place up and running. For end of the day, home zone, yeah, okay. We'll leave it as that. And first thing, highest priority, research bench. And talking about the research, usually I go straight for the multi-analyzer to cut down in research time for everything. Our priority now, however, is getting those sniper rifles or to be able to fabricate them ourselves. So what we need is microelectronics, gas operation, blowback operation, gunsmithing and machining. However, we'll do microelectronic first. That gives us the okay. I take research bench. Which yeah speeds up research time on all the future researchers. And once we have precision rifling done, we can fabricate those sniper rifles ourselves. Then we get the multi-analyzer and then we look in. What we think we will need. Okay. What's going on? Ah, really guys? That one tile and the two doors you couldn't finish. So we could have a nice and cozy room in here. <laughs> okay. Don't stress yourself, swear. Dog, Jonah, yeah, they're really sleeping in the ancient beds, but where is Frankie? Sleeping on top of the simple meals. <laughs> ah, we also have uh, flag pants. Nice, okay. Guys, then maybe... Build some... Is this steel? Yeah. 
And what can we do for recreation? This table? Hm. Why not? What should be? That one? No. Yeah, okay. Build it from wood. Okay. Why did I build them in steel? Never mind. Okay. We just butched quite some steel. <laughs> Let's actually get us some steel here so we can finish. I don't know why I'm wasting steel here on those, but yeah, I said I'm a bit rusty. However, we will be having a room ready tonight. No, we did not make it happen. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Ranky. Get the spot here. And then we should start hunting. Alpacas, yeah. Actually, I think only Jonah can go hunting, no? Wait, who's our researcher? Doc has to do researching. Frankie. Buddy, why are you wearing the armor? Oh, really? My bad. Remove this for now. Frankie should take it off. Because that one slows him down. And Jonah is leveling his shooting skills. What of ancient danger? Yeah, yeah, we know that. Leveling shooting skills and bringing us food. Which, yeah. Put the torch lamp in here. And... the butcher table yeah let's put the butcher no no <laughs> okay build the butcher table a wooden one right here and we'll make a little kitchen area for now a temporary one We have steel enough. Make the walls from wood. That is on dirt. That is fine. Electric stove. No, no, no. What? Full stove, of course. Visitors. What do we want here? Animal corpses, of course. Watch a creature for now forever. How's research going, Doc? Somehow, who has social from us? Jonah, but Jonah is hunting. Do they have something we would like to buy? Luciferium. 
meals, medicine. Okay, you know what, dog? Let's have a short chat with NZ. Oh, they have only two. Of medicine. No, actually, never mind. Go back to research. Wow, okay. Gift von Dineria. Okay, what did they leave us? Oh, really? 48 silver? That's nice. Jonas shooting up to three. Okay. Frankie already building up his own kitchen. I think Frankie is the cook, isn't it? Yeah. Still, we have plenty. Then Frankie get, get some cooking up because... We are running out of survival meals. Actually, keep it. Yeah, like. What are they doing? Hmm. Not too bad, I would say. Could be better, could be worse. Do we have already materials for bad rolls? Wait, what am I talking about? I've played so much tribal playthroughs, but we actually can build beds, can't we? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. There are still two apacas. And should maybe start taming some muffalos. We can go trade. meals and wow what since it looks like you'll be here for a while dog thinks that you should give your faction a name what should your faction be called dog also thinks that you should give this settlement a name what should this local settlement be called well the local settlement is the well, no. The cuckoo's nest. What's our faction name? The cuckoo's, no? The cuckoo's. The cooks? Cooks is our ideology. We are the cuckoo's. We are from the cuckoo's nest. Okay. So, what's up with all those meals? What? Okay, I know we need simple meals. And actually do the what time simple meals. What is all this other stuff? I, I will have a look at this later. Do until then. What is happening? Let's make that... 14 10 something like that okay research slowly but surely poor poor normal okay that one will be assigned for i think frankie 
can deconstruct this expand that zone meals are coming in we can actually also stockpile the meat here uh, do I really have to unselect the human meat and insect meat? Yeah. Okay, so slowly but surely, let's try this again. So we can have three at least normal bed quality. And then actually it's time to come up with a plan. Hey! Still have no room. Wow, I'm such a noob. What is going on? So, which one is our best constructor? What is all this? We don't really care, do we? What? It's, yeah, okay. It doesn't actually matter. Frankie. What is happening? Why we could not build those two doors here? Never mind. We have a few tiles left. Can we finish flooring in here? So we have an awful barrack. What do we have? 30. Ten stone. We need four per tile. We can make one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and no, 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 not remove. My bad, my bad. What I wanted to do was move rather a few tiles. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> we are watching so much construction. We are wasting so much resources. Do we have any blocks left? Not really. And we have to go hunting again. Concrete. It's cheap and quick, but it's quite ugly. Let's do... Let's do paved tiles. Where yeah, we have dirt here. I am not good. Something like that. Okay. A new bed, that's a poor bed again, and a poor bed again, come on guys, you can do that better. Let's actually set to at least normal. Yeah, like this. The quality builder mode is quite helpful, so you don't have to manually deconstruct and construct again. They keep repeating. Probably we may need some wood as well. They keep repeating. Until they reach the quality. Normal. Nice. Wild woman wanders in. Let's see her stats. Ita. <laughs> Look at that! Too smart, pretty. Social 12, double burning passion, artistic 10, double burning passion, and a cook. Can't do dumb labor and animals, but wow! Yeah, well, I think. What's her ideology? I am not sure that quite affects how fast we can convert her, doesn't it? But we would like to... What? What? No. 
we would like to aim her or is it better to just erase her okay i actually had to slow down a little bit i was yeah not having a good plan and wasting resources like i was building here stools but of course we can build dining chairs and yes we saw it here already but i played so much tribals i was not even aware that we have the complex furniture already unlocked and not only complex furniture but also the complex clothing we have unlocked and electricity so, so of course we can already make us some dusters pants button down shirts to get protection we even can build wind turbines and generators well we could in theory if we would have a pawn with a construction skill of four <laughs> our skills are a little bit ridiculous in the moment but we have those which are important we have for now and slowly but surely will improve of course those ancient beds still give the pawns they slept on the ground but we're already working on beds here yeah that's the tiller bench to get us some protection stone cutters table i queued up because we want to expand we need some stone blocks so we can build walls i plan to mine those hills here out of the way because here we have nice rough limestone which we can smooth then we can make here a big nice barrack slash recreation slash production slash everything also queued up a little bit more uh, steel mining get some light in the kitchen we are roofing the corpse area some of the junk which we don't need inside we will move outside here and yeah i'm preparing here a small prison because there is a lot of work to be done we are only three people and one is constantly researching so we need people therefore let's actually turn on the map where was that wild woman either we want her not only we want her we need her according to him wiki we have to tame her i don't think i've ever tamed a wild woman or wild man we need to tame her if we arrest her we will not be able to hire her later on and i guess we need uh, what do we need animal skills i guess for taming so we'll send frankie to tame ida and finally i've placed down the retail spot this is all new for me but we want to convert her to our ideology otherwise we get troubles inside the colony for the conversion ritual we need a quack for this we need choose new role i guess for quack we need someone with high social which is jonah yeah so jonah will become quack and frankie we said has to go taming and then dog can oh jonah yeah and then dog can participate we need one participant so dog can participate and frankie has the animal skill yeah frankie is going to tame frankie top priority team ida oh okay let's actually slow down that a little bit so the retards oh they have made this nice that looks cool they also have their own sounds Jonah is having a speech of thoughts on his beliefs about the future, talk about improving the colony, showing gratitude, responsibility of his new role. Relax, Jonah, relax. We're the cuckoos after all, we don't care so much. <laughs> ah yeah, we also placed down some growing zones. And we get visited by Manhunter. Virginia Peaks. What's their movement speed? Oh, that also got reset, I guess, with stalling ideology. Let's add here a row. And the start speed. Move speed. Yep. Five sales per second? Yeah. Whatever. We let them finish the ritual and let's see how Frankie is doing. 
And they are going to attack Frankie, of course. Hurry up, buddy. Are you trying to tame her with raw meat, Frankie? Are you for real? Well, as a wild woman, she likes raw meat, I guess. But, oh, that... What? Okay. So, the, uh, that was the role change and... Either... What? Frank, what? Frankie touched a vulnerable body part of Ida, <laughs> demanding obedience. Ida has accepted and joined Frankie's community. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> so th that's how you tame a wild woman with a raw steak and touch a vulnerable body part. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> okay. Now we have to leg it. You two get home a sub. And then I'm not even sure. Frankie will have to tank it. Will equip the flag pants and the knife. He will tank it at the door while Doc and Jonah are shooting out. Ah, oh, that's nice. They are taking a detour. So we can make it home on time, I would say. We move in the door, dock, and either maybe you can. Oh, oh, either you stay here. Maybe you can also punch a little bit. Did you just shoot Ida? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? What did that? What just happened? Did that Chinea peak like? What? Did like teleported in? <sighs> okay, no, she at least didn't get shot, but. What is for Chinea pigs? Look what they did to our colonists. What the heck? But that one Chinea pig fully ninjaed inside, full attack, dog bit in the right arm. Okay. So, actually, I don't want to get infections now or stuff. So, let's use medicine on all of them, actually. And skill wise. Oh wow. Except for Frankie. They can all self tame actually. Except for Frankie. Let's know either that will become medical. I will make actually both. You rest, you rest. You have the most wounds. Okay, now they are getting it. They are self-tending. And then dog. You tend to Frankie. And to Ida. Yeah, nice. Good job. And to Ida. Tending to either, it's fine. Okay. Jonah is going to play horseshoes, and after that, you clean the room. And talk, you're going to eat, and after that, you feed Frankie and Ida. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, well, I think I'm going to cut it out right here. That was a little bit of a slower start. Randy spared us quite a bit. All he sent our way was the Manhunter back. But also we've got the new recruit already. So the colony is growing already in the first episode. That's nice. However, 
I have to do a little bit of research now on how to convert her. Because she is giving our colonies quite a bad time because of the intense bigotry. So everyone has the minus six reverse thoughts. Because as we said at the beginning, either you are a cook or you're not a cook. So I think we may even have to imprison her. So we get rid of this minus six. And yeah, I think that even makes it easier to convert her. I'm not sure. I have to look into this a little bit. So, well, I hope you excuse a little bit my wonky start. <laughs> I'm a bit rusty, but I'm glad that actually I could come up with an idea and got the first episode finally done, which is the hardest. And yeah, I try to crank out at least an episode a week as I used to. But I guess I will not be able to hold this for every single week. I will try. I will try. So, ah yeah, finally let me know if you think it's okay on a sniper run to use launchers and grenades. First of all, I don't want to spare us of having the fun from using doomsday rocket launchers. And also in the end game, when we'll have on the double ending like, I don't know, 50 plus centipedes walking in the kill box. We will need EMP grenades if we want to survive. Because sniper rifles aren't really the best weapons in the game. And I'm not sure if we can make it otherwise. Let me know what you think. Don't forget, doomsday rockets are a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. Either break risk. Yeah, don't worry. We will imprison you soon. And then not such a big problem for us. Okay. Then I hope you have liked See you next time. Cheers and Rimon.